Hello and welcome back to Let's Play the Lamplighters League with me, Break It Dawn. Let's have three conversations, starting with Eddie. Half a shot you make. I've never seen anyone hit from those distances. Oh, you'll make a girl blush. <laughs> Keep going. What's the longest shot you ever made? In the field? Mm, only 900 meters or so. But the real trick was shooting through the tenement windows to the veranda of the building on the other side. <laughs> and who was the target? No idea. If I had to guess, I would say he had a tried-to-blackmail-someone-powerful look about him. Cold. Professional. The club keeps the research separate from the field. That way we don't get sentimental. Are you the sentimental type? Hardly. In fact, and don't you dare ask me how I know this, sentimentality can be a real career ender. Say you got hired to take me out. Or any of us. Business is business. But don't worry. I'm very expensive, and I doubt this lot would rate. That is, a uh, real comforting. I believe I've spent time in a Magdalite hospital in an earlier life. Though I didn't realize what they were at the time. The mothers have one foot in each world, helping those in need around them. Did they heal you? They did, I suppose. Father said it was a minor bout of exhaustion. In any case, the hospital was beautiful. It was in the mountains south of Turin. San Angelica, Agustin. Yes. You know it? I knew it. The court destroyed it five years ago. They executed all the mothers. And then they profaned the site with cursed idols and unclean things. And even then, none of them fought back. I don't know whether to admire the mothers for their commitment to their ideals, or hate them for it. Hate the banished court, and pray for the souls of the mothers that helped you. I'm a little out of practice when it comes to prayer, I'm afraid. I'll find another way to remember them. Good evening, madam. Has the undrawn hand revealed any of its secrets to you? You did agree to share your findings, in exchange for access to the cards. Ah, <sighs> fine. Here's a little bone for you. You said these cards change fate. True enough in a poetic, incorrect sort of way, but not to one who speaks the language of destiny. But the card's effects are undeniable. Undeniably so. But how should we understand this variable? As a butterfly whose wings smudge wet ink? No, no. The ink is the butterfly. In this instance. Could you say more? No, not yet. Ask me again later. Very well. Thank you, madam. Let's make a deal. I don't think there's anything I want to buy from the supplier right now. So we'll hold off on that. It warms the heart to help you. But we can't get any upgrades because we don't have cards. King's Ether. 12 skill points to spend. Let's go ahead and max out Anna Sophia with Restore 3. Anna Sophia channels her powers to completely heal all teammates within a large radius, AoE 8. Teammates healed by this ability regain one signature charge. I believe that increases the Arab effect by two. Yeah, default is six, and it goes up to eight. Not the most impressive upgrade, but we have been in situations before where her teammates were one or two tiles outside of the area of effect. So it does have a part to play. Now let's assign the intelligence missions. Here we'll get a firebomb two and four ether. Get in, get the job done, get out. And here three healing and 50 supplies. Handle this discreetly. All right, let's do the Marteau Infernal mission. And hopefully next week we'll be in a position to do Nicastro's uh, prep work. Our infernal device for Marteau. Phenomena Unquiet Dead. Lacuna Thralls are a major presence in this mission. We'll get 113 supplies and 10 skill points. Destroy this region's Marteau-operated crossroads beacon to sabotage court operations. 
The latest Marteau Industries innovation, Crossroads Beacons help the court cross the globe undetected. Pretty sure that's the same description as the last Infernal Device, but let's read it again. How does the court move so quickly across the globe? The answer lies in Marteau Industries' latest invention, the Crossroads Beacon. Through a network of beacons scattered across the globe, the court moves troops and material across oceans, mountains, and deserts at previously impossible speeds. Destroying these beacons will hamper the court's activities and buy ourselves some much needed breathing room. Court moves her soldiers through this thing. Reason enough to get rid of it. This ought to be a bit of fun. Ooh, the Vigor Tonic. It's a little better than bandages. Into the old pocket with you. Hmm. What's this then? Field logistics. A typed inventory list written in red ink at the bottom. Small caliber munitions, 10 cases received. Five cases, stun grenades on manifest but not received. This should buy you some time. Whatever it takes. See if we can cause a little trouble. Easy as pie. Hey, now we got a few of them before we initiated combat. <laughs> She did a good job of softening up a few targets. Run for the hills, boys! So I'm tempted if we find another leech card to give it to Eddie. Because he could stack a ton of AP with that bleed effect. And then with Anna Sophia also applying bleed effects to enemies. Because I think every turn she almost has a guaranteed chance to apply bleed without how many shots and AP she gets.
Now, now, don't be shy. How about a challenge sometime? Necessary. Only one of us walking away from this, and it ain't gonna be you. Got you dead in my sights. All right, doing pretty good. From 11 to 3 enemies in 2 turns, that's not bad. Especially considering how spread out they were. Keep going! We can beat them! Legend I am. Caught you with your pants down, huh? Man. I think you missed a 87% chance and then a 95. It'll be over soon. This guy really should have just taken the chance to run. We can make it out of this. I know we can. This is a firefight. Light him up! Reloading. Line them up, knock them down. Target is in ruins. We got the main event, sure. But a job's not really done unless it's done right. What do you say, partners? So I don't remember what defenses activate if you don't destroy it in time. Nothing happened there. As soon as the defenses, quote, activated, <laughs> the uh, turn base ended. Diverted cargo. An assortment of Strum and Castro shipping containers. Press label slapped on the sides read, 
Contents re requisitioned for Marteau Industries. Why not? I was looking for high ground for Pranima to park on. And see this over here. Worldwide shipping. Stenciled onto each crate in thick white paint. Fragile, viable antiques. What's this then? It's more ether I can't spend. We have plenty of intel. Which also helps that one of the intelligence missions we do almost always gives us two intel back. Uh, worth a shot. Actually, I probably should have used this. Lost him out of cover. That's no good. Might take some damage here. Getting shot up here. Draw. Wow. Second 93% chance he's missed with the rogue. you can walk away from. That's what happens when you start getting a little cocky. Today's news. Russian hunters report monster in Lake Baikal. A commissary of rationality refuses to comment. A request form. A blazon with the insignia of the banished court. Requesting evaluation. We have now had multiple yet unconfirmed reports of phobic paralysis at site 02-35C. Narrative statements enclosed. Hey, King's Aether. Just what we needed. 
Where there is life, there is hope. I'll take point. Ton of enemies over there. <laughs> I'll give this to Mr. Luck when we return. Stand by. Alright, so I would like to take the Magister out first if I could. But we could also just go in guns blazing. Because it's just a bunch of thralls, and they're not very difficult to deal with. Well, this is going to in be fact, nice. There we go. This should cause some trouble. Keep close. Not quite the position I'd like to be in, so I'm gonna do this. I uh, use it anyway. We're gonna hit three, but I, I want to save light them up once they're all in cover. I could just open up with Anna Sophia, I guess. Shame you can only see three. He has more targets over here. Come on out now! Time to light him up! Bloody perfect shot, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, pretty good crit chance. 57%. And 47% here. Too easy. So I didn't see the initial enemy count when we first started, but we're down to four from whatever it was. Pretty good. It's pretty crazy, she gets all these buffs out for free, because she gets 1 AP for using them. So much pain. But it's necessary. And then she gets more AP, it's just... Like, great combo.
that her going first, she also has that 25% chance to apply Armor Shred. And it's per shot, and every time she shoots, she shoots twice. So if everything works out right, she gets six shots. Well, in this case, she's gonna get eight. Come on, reload. That's eight 25% chance to reduce armor and apply a bleed. But reducing the armor sets up my two damage dealers to do more damage. Divine light, give me strength. And if I get the leech for Eddie, be sitting pretty. Wanna dance? Because with the leech, you can get any more AP. And he keeps getting the light him up resets. He can just keep using light him up, which can hit more enemies than any other ability. Up to six. Ha! Did you see that? Hot damn! I mean, honestly, the Leech is a card you can put on all of your characters, but I think the multi-shot ones are obviously the best. So Anna Sophia, Eddie. Uh, pairing it with Ingrid's Killing Blow passive would also be really good. Well, well, well. What have we here? I suppose I could switch things up. Hmm. What's this then? A field test report. Captain Marteau Industry Stationery. It bears the insignia of the Special Development Division. Field test report XR-56 Electronic Phase Plasma Caster Mark III. Codename Electrocaster. Observations. Despite the unit's structural reinforcements, the Mark III's exterior casing reached an un unsustainably high temperature within three minutes. Catastrophic failure within five minutes. Effects. Complete disintegration of all living tissue within a 10 square meter range. Recommendation. No deployment is not advised at this time. Let me help you. Now what the hell was that? Alright, let's go. My sister and brother showed me how to do this. This will get their attention. See, now you done pissed me off! <laughs> of course, that guy got to act too. Let's hold our actions for right now, and instead, do this with Eddie. How do you like to taste the lead? Got all the riffraff real quick. Yeah, let's do this. Run 
one for the heels, boys! It's alright, he's out of action points anyway, so we don't lose anything. How could we actually get to use it? Has that always been the case? They've left themselves open! So I get two AP back if I do this. And then two shots on this guy. Well, one shot, because he's going to run at us. Ooh, right in the soft bits. Well, no, it'd still be two shots, because I get an aim shot and a snap shot. A 22% chance to crit and finish him off. All right, get ready for these guys to spawn in, and that'll be all she wrote. Reloading. Ooh, I have a feeling things are about to get interesting. Nice try. Don't stop now. We can make it out of this. I know we can. I'll make this quick. Look at you, Swarder. sums it up. All right. Easy peasy. Come on, y'all. Hello, card. What's this then? A field report. Site 022-A. 
Report. Initial findings at this site are inconclusive. Identified nearby alternate possibility. Require more personnel. Here we go. I think that's the first class exclusive area that didn't have anything inside of it. The Call of the Deep. The waves lap at the pier, rhythmic, inviting. A dare, an invitation. How wide, how deep can the ocean be? Come, come, come find out. It's open. The door is open. Hurry. Yeah, I can use this. Let me hold on to this. All right, well, we put a pause to Marto's shenanigans for a little while. We sabotage the enemy's transport, just like back in the war. Marto's crossroads beacon is a wreck, and so are his logistical operations in this region. In the old days, we'd have tried to study the beacon first. We'd have tried to find out how people and material can enter the crossroads in one place, next to just a few seconds later, halfway across the world. But such luxuries are beyond us now. Oh, so we got the Revelation, the Club, the Omen, and the Herald. Revelation. We've seen that before. Latif has that equipped, I believe. The Club is the melee that shreds armor. The Omen. This might be new. When attacked, this agent suffers less stress, but loses 8 max hit points until the end of the mission. Never look away. The Herald we can upgrade over here. This is the cooldown by one turn. That's level four, that's max level as well. Pretty good. Excellent work. We can use this. Destroying this crossroads beacon has dealt a serious blow to Marteau's preparations, and delayed his entrance into the tower. House Marteau Doomsday Clock set back. What did you find out there? A fruitful trip, I see. Okay, real quick look to see what a hey, new agent heck yeah and we'll focus on the Castro that should prevent hers from it'll still reach the next breakpoint unfortunately I could stop that
you'd think the critical missions would be worth a little bit more threat, but I guess that's how they balance the threat and make it always a looming problem. Because you can also view it as once they sense you're trying to sabotage their primary objectives, they become more motivated. So, see the reasoning behind it. I still feel like we should put a stop to it. Do either of these give scarce resources? It doesn't look like it, so we'll probably just go after these. And the Castro Talisman 2. The Castro Uniform 1. We probably assume they work like the Strum equipment, so the Talisman probably adds poison damage to your weapon. And um, the Uniform probably gives you like poison resist or something. All right, well, we'll deal with this next time. I'm excited we finally have another agent uh, kind of scoped out. We still have to find them and then do the mission, but pretty exciting stuff. All right, I'm going to call it here. Next time, no conversations. We'll just jump right into the housekeeping and then a mission. But for now, thanks for watching. I'd love to see you guys in the next one.